coming out of the chocks here at Appleton Airport, Wisconsin, right back in the middle of Air Venture 2023. It was 2019 where uh, I strapped into uh, one of Garmin's airplanes to demo Emergency Auto Land, and uh, we're here in Garmin's uh, B200 King Air, equipped with Auto Throttle and Auto Land. And back in 2019, the question to Jessica Koss was, when can this system be retrofitted? Well, the time is now. It's Garmin's big announcement here at Air Venture 2023, and uh, we'll get airborne and see what this uh, Auto Throttle and Emergency Auto Land looks like in a, key, in a King Air 2. But uh, before we do that, let's go down to the ground and talk about the interface and what this means for uh, King Air 200 owners. I think this uh, new option that we're offering for the King Airs is going to be a, uh, a great seller. It's a great asset for owner-operator pilots. Um, there's a whole lot of work workload um, reliever going into it with the autopilot that, and the autothrottle that are fully integrated together. Um, the auto throttle is integrated with the flight management system, um, so you can leave the auto throttle engaged from takeoff all the way to uh, approach and touchdown. Um, in addition to that, we're now offering OEI ESP, which is one engine and operative ESP, um, which is another um, you know, safety enhancement in addition to uh, the more traditional ESP. Um, where we have more conservative uh, pitch and roll limits and um, also now an airspeed um, protection mode as well to that. Um, and then last but by no means least, the uh, emergency auto land. Um, Garmin Auto Land uh, we have in three previous offerings and now it's in the King Air. And uh, this was a particularly challenging program to put it in with uh, two engines now. It's the first multi-engine um, aircraft that uh, it's been installed in. Um, so I think uh, that will provide a lot of peace of mind to these um, owner operators that are in the King Air. So a lot of you are probably wondering what it'll take to get Auto Throttle and Auto Land rolled into your King Air. Um, as we all know, King Airs come in a multitude of different configurations, um, and so this STC will cover King Air 200s with Phase 2 uh, Garmin NXI hardware. Uh, you can get the Phase 3 software enhancements alone without Auto Throttle and Auto Land. Um, and for Auto Throttle um, without Auto Land, we uh, cover the PT6 42, 52, and 61 engines and uh, the four bladed props. Um, it'll take an estimated 80 hours of labor to install. Um, and on top of that, uh, EAL is currently offered for the 200s that have uh, hydraulic uh, operated landing gear. Uh, for EAL, or for Auto Land, this would add an estimated 220 hours of labor in addition to the Auto Throttle install. Now, Jessica, what makes this system uh, even more unique is it's the first G1000 integrated Auto Land uh, system, and uh, it looks different even in the taxi, right? That's right. With the latest G1000 NXI software upgrade, we have this 3D exocentric uh, safe taxi view on the primary flight displays. And that stays up through the taxi? That's right, until we get within 70 degrees of the runway center line, and then we get the normal primary flight display, display presentation. In auto throttle engage takeoff? That's right. I'll arm the auto throttle, and when I advance the power levers beyond 1,000 foot pounds, uh, the auto throttle will then engage, and we'll see that enunciated on the multifunction display. So that's where you see that, Larry, right there. So we're talking about workload reduction with an auto throttle system that, unlike other uh, auto throttles, this is heavily, uh, deeply interfaced with the uh, Garmin nav management system. So you can program the NMS, FMS and the auto throttle fly it pretty much throughout the entire flight. That's right. So like just like we did that auto throttle couple takeoff, uh, just a moment ago, we can come back into the terminal area in manual mode and preset pilot defined speeds as we approach the all the way down to the runway. So we've got a, a one engine in operative mode in this airplane. Uh, so OEI ESP or one engine in operative ESP um, will adjust the roll limit indicators there from. You go. 45 degrees inwards to 10 degrees toward the bad engine or the failed engine and 40 degrees on the uh, good engine. So in addition to the pitch limits, um, shrinking down from 20 to 10 degrees, nose up, 
from 15 degrees to 5 degrees nose down. Uh, so we won't, we won't pull an engine off, but uh, we will demonstrate it here and uh, see what it looks like. That's right. Go ahead. Auto throttle. Here you get the left engine yeah, indication. Yeah, and the roll limit indicators tuck in. On the left side to 10 degrees, and then on the right side it remains at 40 degrees. So you got to have the auto throttles for the auto land, and but you could do auto throttles standalone without the without the auto land. But do you think most customers are gonna gonna go for both? Yeah, since we've announced it last week, customers that are really excited about auto throttle for their King Air are equally as interested in auto land. It's very exciting. And we're getting set up to demonstrate a uh, auto land landing. So auto auto land is. Uh, uh, not just a manual activation, it's always kind of standing by in the background. Yeah, there's actually three different methods of uh, automatic um, uh, means to activate emergency auto land. Uh, with this um, certification, we've added emergency descent mode. So if the uh, cabin depressurizes above 20,000 feet and the autopilot's engaged, uh, what we call EDM will activate and uh, bring you down to 15,000 feet. Um, and if the pilot is still unresponsive there, Autoland will activate. Um, there's also an inactivity um, monitor, so if the pilot doesn't make any button presses on the displays or controllers for 20 minutes, um, Autoland will start providing prompts to the pilot to uh, make sure he's still there. Um, if he doesn't follow the prompts and press any buttons, Autoland will activate. Uh, and then also um, with ESP, uh, we have auto level mode, so if you're in ESP for uh, 10 or so seconds and level mode activates. Uh, two minutes later, Autoland will activate if level mode has not been disconnected. So we'll go ahead and do a uh, manual Autoland activation. Uh, in the King Air, the uh, magic button is down in the uh, center pedestal. Press the Okay, so that's uh, below 160 knots, felt the pitch change, gears coming down automatically. The lever won't move, but we put it down as a safety. Yep. Below well, 140 knots, flaps go to their landing position. And we are on the glide path. And I'm not sure. So coming in a short final here, auto land engage, what will it do when we come over to numbers? Around 45 feet, the uh, throttles will retard to idle and the um, autopilot will pitch up to flare and align the nose with the runway. Right on the center line. And you could look for a full report of Garmin's uh, retrofit auto throttle and auto land in an upcoming issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Thanks a lot to the folks at Garmin for another great demo. Uh, we appreciate it in a very busy time here at AirVenture 2023. And uh, we'll see you next time.